Hello and welcome to my video. My name is Chuck Holmes. I'm the founder of parttimecommander.com. In today's video, we're going to talk about Army OPD ideas. OPD stands for Officer Professional Development. Basically, everything we do as an officer is a learning experience. As officers, it's our job to mentor our subordinate officers and teach them and prepare them and mentor them and help them develop their potential and be ready to assume positions of increased responsibility. Here's a quick definition of OPD that I found online. Officer professional development is a combination of training, education, and experience. Remember those three words, training, education, experience. It is a program designed to meet the needs of the Army and the individual officer. It is a cooperation among the individual officer, the commander, and the career manager. The objective of OPD is to maximize an officer's potential. That is from the quartermaster.army.mil website. So that's what it's all about, training, education, and experience. That's why the Army has lots of training. That's why you have different collective training that you do. That's why you have individual training that you do. That's why you go to schools. That's why you seek personal and professional development courses so that you can reach your potential and be the best officer possible. If you're looking for ideas to do OPD in your unit, maybe you've been put in charge of OPD for a specific month. Maybe you're a battalion commander, maybe you're a company commander, maybe you're a staff officer and you just got volunteered to teach a class on OPD. I want to share nine or 10 different ideas to get you thinking about what you could do for a class. And then we're going to cover specific topics that you could choose. So the first one is a site visit. I love site visits. For example, if your unit is close to Gettysburg, you could go to the Gettysburg battle site and do a site tour. Maybe you have a museum. Maybe you have a historic fort. Maybe you have a home of a famous general from the past that you can visit, something where you can get away from your unit and go somewhere different and learn about something significant. Next thing you could do is you could watch a military movie. I can speak from personal experience. Back when I was a first lieutenant in, at Fort Carson, the movie We Were Soldiers came out and our battalion commander had all the officers go to a private viewing of that video. It was really cool. And then after the movie, we had a discussion about what we learned, what went right, what went wrong, what could have been differently, what we would have done if we were in charge of certain things. It was very eye-opening. It was very fun. And it was different. Number three, you could do a book review. Now, I understand a lot of people don't like to read. They don't want to read a book. But reading is a good way to learn new information. You can read about someone's entire life that took them 60, 70, 80 years to figure things out. You can read a book about them in two, three, four, five, six hours and get a ton of good information. And there are hundreds of books. You can check out the reading list on my website. You can ask around, maybe ask one of your mentors, what's a couple of good books that you recommend? Number four, you could do a team building exercise. For example, you could go to the Future Leader Reaction course, kind of like they do in OCS or ROTC, where there's an obstacle course and they put people in charge and you do little missions and you get feedback and you evaluate people. It's really, It's really a good experience. Number five, Put your lieutenant in charge or put your major in charge or put your captain in charge. Whoever is working directly for you, let them do your job for a day. That's going to be pretty eye-opening to them, and it will teach them and help them become better in their job. Num the next one, number six, partner up with a different NCO. This is great. You could take every officer in your unit and have them switch NCOs for a month or for a week or for a day and pick that NCO's brain and get to know them about what they do and what their experience is. And, they can kind of job shadow and mentor each other. Number seven, you could do a challenge or a contest. Maybe you have a contest where you divide all your officers up into two teams and you have one team competing against another team. Number eight, just some one-on-one -on -one time. For OPD, you could team up an officer with another officer and they could talk about a certain subject or they could do a question and answer or the subordinate could ask any career advice type questions to the person that's mentoring them. Number nine, let a subordinate officer teach an OPD. Delegate, empower one of the people that you lead to teach a class. This will obviously teach them a new skill. You'll get to evaluate their public speaking skills, and it will get them out of their comfort zone a little bit, which will help them grow. Number 10, bring in a guest speaker. Maybe you have a veteran that you know that received the Medal of Honor. Maybe you know someone who is a personal trainer. Maybe you know someone who's a CPA or a financial planner. You could bring them in and have them do an OPD, which would benefit all of the people. So those are 10 different ideas. 
on how you could do a class. Now let's go through a couple of topics that you could focus on. And really the key to success when picking a topic is to figure out what is going to benefit the people that you lead the most. Think about their strengths and weaknesses, maybe even do a survey and ask them what topics or what subjects would be of most interest to them. But you could cover the thrift savings plan. You could do career planning. You could talk about the army values. You could teach different leadership skills. You could do tactical training, conflict resolution. You could do the art of communication, the officer and NCO relationship, people skills, convoy operations, weapons range management and operations, how to write an op order. You could do a class on the troop leading procedures or the military decision-making process, how to conduct a counseling session, how to write an OER and NCOER, how to prepare your support form properly. You could do a class on unit history, army history, strategic planning, time management, how to prepare for retirement, how to max out your retirement points, and countless other topics. So these are just really designed to get you thinking about some things that you can do. But the best thing you can do, go somewhere quiet for 10 or 15 minutes and just make a list of potential ideas you think would benefit the people that you lead, and then reach out to them, seek some feedback, find out what which one of those topics interests them the most, or is there a different topic that they're thinking about that would be even more beneficial. So this is what I know about Army OPD. Feel free to go to the description box below this video. You can click on the link where you can visit my website. You can read more about this topic. Don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you for your service. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you have a fantastic day.